heard, you are my wave walkers. Beloved, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You shall not be overwhelmed by the stormy seas of chaos around you. For I am with you. I am not only with you, my child, to still the chaos around you. But you are being raised up by the power of the Holy Spirit and walking upon these stormy waters with me. We shall walk together one step at a time until we reach the other side called victory. You are above the waters and not beneath them. Keep your eyes fixed on me, dear one, and not the storms. All authority in heaven and on earth is mine. Behold, I have delegated this divine authority to you, my bride. You have the power of the Holy Spirit in you. It is the very same power to raise the Son of God from the dead. You shall do even greater things because you are my sons and daughters. Though the storms may rage around you, you shall walk over them and through them. Do not be afraid of the dark forces around you. Declare to the darkness, Peace, be still. At my name, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Every name that is named must submit to you. You shall walk upon the waves as though they were nothing. For in me you live and move and have your being. Do not lose hope, my love. Keep speaking my name and my word. For this is the victory that overcomes the world, even your faith. See with eyes of the faith that the land called victory is right in front of you. Suddenly you shall be there. Delegate, entrust a task or responsibility to another person. Assign, entrust, give up, pass on, transfer, send or authorize someone to do something as a representative. Isaiah 48.3 I foretold the former things long ago. They came out of my mouth. I proclaimed them suddenly. I acted and they came to pass. Isaiah 43.2 Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you go through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched. And the flames will not set you ablaze. <coughs> Philippians 2.9 Therefore does God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. So that is the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. 1 John 5, 4 Because everyone born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who then overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Colossians 2.6 As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Luke 10.19 Behold, I give you the authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and upon all the power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you.